Today's topic, the importance of knowing yourself. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is Your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. Today, I was having a conversation with an organizer who organizes high-level events for entrepreneurs and business people. Now, this is an invite-only event on top of a mountain, and you can guess kind of what this event is like. Now, I was very honored to be considered and to be recommended uh, to be an invitee to this event. And during the conversation, which is essentially an interview to see if you can get accepted, so to speak, but during the conversation, I asked him his story. I wanted to know what made him tick and why he started these events. And he said something that I thought was very profound and very profound in the sense what he told me was he really knew and understood himself. He told me about the businesses he had built in excess of $50 million for just his last business. And what he told me, Doug, is I always have a partner. I'm the creative, I'm the vision guy. I'm pretty crazy, I'm pretty wacky. And that's actually why I started this event, is I wanted to have more very successful entrepreneurs getting together. And so what he does is he actually hires someone who's the polar opposite of him. And in fact, in his event series that he runs, uh, again, which is very well known, he has actually hired a boss, a CEO, someone to manage the whole company because he realized he doesn't have the skill sets to do it. And the skill sets he wasn't possessing was the ability to organize and systematize a business. And that's a common complaint with most entrepreneurs. But the point of this whole conversation, the, the reason I bring this up to you, is I was so interested in how well he actually knew himself. He knew himself well enough that he knew, hey, look, I could probably run this whole event series, maybe this other business that I'm running, but If I get a partner, if I bring somebody else in who's got maybe more experience or the opposite skill sets or someone who's just simply a contrarian, I can actually grow this a lot faster and with flow and ease. It'll be just be easier to do. And so when I, after our conversation got off and again, I was, I felt very, very thankful that he considered me and invited me to join, join the group. You know, after the conversation, I started thinking, geez, where else in my life, in my five to thrive, in my mind, in my body, my soul, my relationships, my business, am I not being true to myself? Maybe I don't know myself, right? How often do some of us go out there and we try to fix our weaknesses, right? We focus on our weakness to try to make it better when really we should focus on what we're good at, our strengths, the ability for us to actually give our gifts to the world and focus on improving those gifts and then bringing somebody else in to fill the holes, the things that we're not that good at. I can tell you in my life, you know, when it comes to financial accounting or very detailed granular work, it's not my forte. Now in the past, my early 20s, I worked really hard at trying to get better at it. And I did in a sense that I was able to get good enough to grow my business, but it wasn't really fulfilling for me. And when I actually started outsourcing, outsourcing my bookkeeping, outsourcing my financial analysis, outsourcing my systemization of my businesses, when I started outsourcing that to my staff or to somebody else, I actually was able to thrive. My business started growing exponentially. And that's where I started wondering, hey, where else can I do this? And after this conversation, I'm still wondering, where else am I trying to cover up my faults? Where am I trying to cover up my weaknesses and work on those and getting better where I really should focus on my strengths? See, I think my strength is one-on-one coaching, teaching people. I've always been a teacher. Ever since I was in high school and coaching sports camps, all the way through running a gym, to teaching marketing, to lecturing to students, to doing my one-on-one private coaching and small group coaching, and even retreats. This is where I thrive. I know this is my zone of genius, and I know that if I get focused in the details, in the detail works, the logistics, it's just not where I thrive. It's not where I'm the best. So I bring in people. I bring in a staff and build a team around me to do that. Now in my body, same same exact things. Where am I trying to improve? Now, when I was a college athlete, I really wanted to improve my long distance running, right? I was a great sprinter. I was an anaerobic athlete and I still am, but I would start focusing on the long distance because I wanted to be holistic. I wanted to have a whole perspective. When In retrospect, if I would have focused on improving what I was already good at, it would have carried me further in my athletic career. 
And this also goes in other areas of our life, right? Our mind, uh, as well as relationships. There's certain things that you just wanna work on in relationships, let's be honest. But what areas are you just really horrible at, right? Just really just not great at in relationships and what areas do you exceed in? They really do good. See, for me personally, if you were to throw me into a social situation with say a couple hundred people at a party, I would do great for the first few hours, but it would drain me, right? But at one-on-one -on -one, or with a small group or around a dinner table or a boardroom or a conference, I could be there forever because I could definitely impact the people that I'm with and that's what lights me up. If I can help somebody, and uplift them on a large level, that's where I excel. So that's what I focus on. I no longer focus on trying to be able to network or work a room. That's just not who I am. And I no, no longer have to do that, I'm lucky. So I'm asking you for the possibility for your, own sense, for your own self, where is it in your life, in your five to thrive, where are you trying to cover up or focus on a potential weakness where you really should just be on elevating your strengths and then bringing people around you, just like this gentleman did, to focus on building up your weaknesses with their talents. That's it for me today. As always, go to authorofyourownstory.com where you get the latest tips, tricks, and techniques delivered right to your inbox each and every day. And of course, share this with three people so you can continue to build your tribe. This is the way you do it. Servant leadership, give it to somebody else. If you're a business owner, give it to your staff. If you're a staff member, give it to a friend or a fellow colleague. This is the way you continue conversations that better the world and will better yourself. That's it for me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Go out and be the author of your own story. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.